919. I'm here with the director and producer of Devotion, J.D. Dillard and Rachel Smith. How are you guys tonight? Thank you so much for taking a few moments to talk to me. Oh my god, of yeah. course. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah. J.D., I am a huge fan of your work, especially Slight and Sweetheart. And you started in genre film, so I'm curious about your change to, I guess we call it historical fiction slash more of a drama. What was that transition like for you, and what has been the same and what has been different about making a movie outside of the genre world? It's really funny. I mean, I never, I never was looking for a true story, uh, but when I was introduced to Jesse Brown and Tom Hudner's story, I, I found myself with this weird opportunity to obviously not just honor, you know, the relationship and devotion that these men had, but in a way, kind of tell my dad's story, who was also a naval aviator 30 years behind Jesse. And that was like my way in, you know. I think then as we start to put the movie together, you very quickly realize that genre becomes sort of a non-issue when you're just trying to tell a story as best as you can. Um, you know, there are no aliens or robots or, uh, you know, science fiction elements in this film. Um, but you still try to find ways to tell the story that, you know, feel bespoke to you. So, while Devotion is so different than Slight and Sweetheart, in some weird way, it feels totally like the logical next step. But you don't think it, you don't think you're done with genre films, right? Oh, I am literally, <laughs> after this, and I love this film with all my heart, but I am running back to, like, creatures, science fiction, whatever it may be, uh, because, look, I mean, my connection to this is through Jesse and Tom and my dad, um, and I'm so, so honored to have gotten to tell this story, um, and I will go back to science fiction very shortly. <laughs> okay, so for either one of you or both, I'm curious about the casting, um, how you came to chose Jonathan Majors, Some how were they always like the, the men for the job, or how did you decide to choose them? I can start it off and then throw that back to JD, but uh, but Glenn was actually involved from the very beginning because he's the one who brought uh, our production company the book and we developed it with him. The first step once we met JD was for Glenn and JD to meet and make sure that they meshed and saw the same movie, which they did. Um, and then Jonathan, JD always had Jonathan in mind and we had seen Jonathan early on in Hostels and just like knew he was going to be a star. Um, but you can kind of talk about yeah. your moment with Jonathan. I mean, coming aboard, I, it was that was like the obvious first choice. Um, you know, only a few months before that, I was in Atlanta, uh, having just been working on a television show, and I spent my like Saturday morning taking a break, seeing a movie, and it was a uh, Last Black Man in San Francisco. And I like walked out of the theater. It was raining. I was like crying. I was like, "Who is this man?" Uh, we have. I have to find something with him. And then shortly after that, uh, was introduced to the story of devotion. Um, and it was like, "Okay, I want to do this, and it has to be Jonathan." Um, so I flew down to Atlanta. He was still shooting, I believe, Lovecraft at the time. Um, and we just started talking about it, and that was uh, that was that. Yeah, I mean, look, even though it's a period piece, at every step of the process, we really work to tell this story through a modern lens. And, you know, look, as our, vocab as, as our audience has a better vocabulary about talking about, you know, allyship and race and all of these things, you know, I think it's becoming increasingly important to tell that story with more nuance. So even though it is a story that takes place in 1950, you know, we want to have it feel like it's relevant to 2022. Um, and that's, you know, without beating anyone over the head with it, that, that is sort of like the spirit of devotion, which is just really how hard and complicated it is to be there for somebody else. Did you want to add anything? I mean, it's, again, he's so good at like his answers. I'm just like tag team on. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I think this is a movie for now because it can appeal to like a wide range of audience. And, like you could take your dad to go see it, your grandfather to see it, your teenage son or daughter to see it. And I think that's really rare, like to see a movie that kind of has it all. It's got a love story, it's got the friendship, it's got action and drama, it's a little bit of everything. So it feels, even though 
though it's a period piece, like it's a 